When it's time to be happy, be 100% present in it. Use gratefulness to help you manifest your greatest desires. As human beings, living a very human existence, we experience a variety of emotions. Joy, sadness, sorrow, confusion, discouragement, contentment, and a parade of many other feelings. Sometimes within one day. But what I want to focus on in this video are the times in which we feel happy. Those times when we feel like all is well and that our complaints are either non-existent or minimal. Those times when it seems like your worries are far from you. What I want to talk about is what you do in those moments when you feel happy. These moments can be the moments you can use to manifest your greatest desires. Truthfully, I believe these are the only times when you can get insight into your greatest desires. Now I do understand that many of you may disagree, but here's why I feel like the times you're happy are the times in which you can manifest your greatest desires. I feel this way because I feel that in other times, your greatest desires are likely to be tainted with fear, anxiety, jealousy, desperation, or resentment. I feel like if you are not at peace within yourself and your environment, you're most likely to feel one of these emotions at one time or another. If you are not at peace within yourself, you're most likely to create a desire out of one of these emotions. I also believe that if you create a desire out of one of these emotions, you will be creating a nightmare or even destruction for yourself. So here's a suggestion from a dear friend. When you're feeling one of these emotions, try not to build a desire or fantasize about ways to escape your feelings. Instead, take a deep, deliberate breath and observe. Observe how you are feeling. If you can, observe any sensations you are feeling within your body. Then ask yourself, when have you felt this feeling before? By doing these things, you are taking the focus off of the immediate desire to react and escape your feelings. By doing these things, you will be able to use the feelings for insight into who you are and develop an opportunity for healing. This is very important because this will prevent you from creating a life for yourself that you truly do not want. By creating an opportunity for healing out of the emotions of fear, anger, jealousy, anxiety, desperation, resentment, and etc., you enable yourself to be clear about your deepest desires and your true source of joy. If you practice this regularly, you will find more opportunities to be grateful. A state of gratefulness is the best place to be when you are working towards the achievement of a particular goal or desire. Why? Because in the state of gratefulness, you are made aware of all the tools and things you have already available to you for the attainment of your goal or desire. You will notice that you have people who can help or who are already helping. You will start to recognize talent you already possess. You will start to see the many opportunities you have available to you or notice opportunities when they arrive. A state of gratefulness is the best place to be and the best tool to use to get you to the next level. The level where you want to be. The level where you are seeing your desires being manifested before your eyes. So whenever you are experiencing joy or a state of contentment in your life, rest in that moment. 
Use that moment to see all the things you are grateful for. Try to carry this insight with you every day, throughout the day, if you can. Okay, my friends, that's all the time I have for today. But until next time, let's agree to live happy one moment at a time.